Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. Today we're gonna talk about a really taboo topic, extended breastfeeding. Here in the United States, extended breastfeeding is classified as anything that's beyond one year which really doesn't make any sense if you think about it because the World Health Organization recommends that you breastfeed at least until two years of age and also shows that it's beneficial to extend it beyond that two years of age. And in a lot of other countries, that's exactly what they do. Breastfeeding your toddler is no big deal. It's the norm. But here, it's just really controversial and it's just sad and doesn't make much sense. But if you're a mom and you find yourself in that position where you are happy breastfeeding, your baby is happy breastfeeding, but you're getting all of this outside pressure from friends or family or whomever to wean your baby, and maybe you're torn between your heart and your head and you're just not sure what to do, well, here's some encouragement for you. The first thing to remember is that God gave this baby to you, not to your mom, not to your mother-in-law, not to your friend, not to your family, nobody but you. It is your decision when to stop breastfeeding. If you're happy breastfeeding your child and your child is ha happy breastfeeding, there's really no reason to stop. And despite what that overbearing but well-meaning friend or family member is telling you, I guarantee you the child will wean before high school. The next thing to keep in mind is that you're saving yourself a ton of money. Now this doesn't really matter if you're going beyond that first year because they don't need formula after that, but if you're um, thinking of weaning before that first year, you're going to have to buy formula. And formula is not cheap. It can be like $20 a can to like $50 a can if your child needs um, a special formulation. So. If you're a whole year of formula can cost around like $1,700. So just something to keep in mind and maybe use as like an argument piece <laughs> when people are giving you a hard time. We've all heard that the breast is the best. It's a perfectly formulated food for your baby. It has everything that your baby needs. It's good for your baby's health as well as mom's health. It's going to reduce your chances of uh, female cancers, it's going to help you lose weight, it's going to do a lot of good for both you and your baby. If you find yourself in a position where you aren't ready to wean your child and you're getting a lot of outside pressure, whether it be friends or family or whomever, it's really important to try to find at least one person who's gonna support you. And there are lots of resources available. There are Facebook support groups, there are La Liche League support groups that probably meet in your area. You can go to their website, which I will link down below, and you can put in your, I believe you put in your zip code and it'll help you find meetings in your area and you can go, and those women are great for support. As hard as it is, try to brush off the negativity. At the end of the day, Whomever is telling you that you need to wean your baby is not going to be the one who's there holding that child while that child cries because it wants to nurse. They're not going to be the one who's there at night when that child wakes up and wants to nurse and they're not going to be the one putting that child back to sleep. So it's all well and good that they want to tell you how you should or should not do things, but when it comes down to it, you're doing the work. So it's your choice. When you get to a place where you're just not enjoying breastfeeding anymore, or your child is losing interest, then it's time to start thinking about weaning your child. Not because, you know, aunt so-and-so thinks that it's weird that you breastfeed your baby, or that it's weird that they haven't been able to feed your baby a bottle. Just ignore those people and move on. And when it's right for you and your baby, you're gonna know. So mama, the point that I'm trying to make is if you're feeling discouraged because you feel like everybody is telling you that you need to wean your baby and you don't know what to do, just be encouraged. You're not alone. There's a lot of other moms out there who would happily support you. I'm one of them. <laughs> I breastfed my children, my son until he was two, a little over two actually, and my daughter until, she, well, she's 16 months now and we're still going strong. So. And I know exactly how it feels to have people tell you that it's weird and tell you that you need to wean and tell you, oh, well, if your child can tell you that they want to nurse, then they're way too old to be nursing. 
you just have to brush it off and do what you feel in your heart is right for you and for your baby because ultimately it only affects you and your baby. So why should anybody else get a say in your decision? You happy and baby happy is all that matters. So hang in there, mama. You're doing a great job. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And thank you so much for watching.